What is the quiet period in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.361.1. And on this controller, I have two jobs. Let's go into job two, and let's try to understand what quiet period is. If we go to configure and take a look under build triggers, we have this option for quiet period. If we take a look at the help, what this tells us is when this option is non-zero, newly triggered builds of this project will be added to the queue, but Jenkins will wait for the specified period of time in seconds before actually starting the build. Now, the key part to this help is newly triggered builds. Let's do this once so you can see what's going on. I'm going to check quiet period, and I'm going to select 30 seconds. Just, just make it a little bit bigger than normal and click on save. Now, based on what we read, it said newly triggered builds. When I click on build now, you may or may not expect that to wait. But in reality, when you click on build now, that's actually not a triggered build. We take a look at it here. It just started, it ran, it was done in obviously under 30 seconds. So in order to see how the quiet period works, we need to trigger this job, job two, from a different job. That's why we have job one here. Now, to set up triggering, we'll go to configure, and I'm going to build this project after other projects are built. So this is gonna be job one that I'm going to go ahead and watch. So once job one completes, that will then trigger job two. So we have that listening and we have a quiet period set to 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and click on save, but let's go over to job one and run job one. So we'll click on build now for job one. We'll go back to the top level of our controller and let's watch what's happening here. Notice that job two is in the queue and it's currently in the quiet period and shows that it expires in 18 seconds and it's been waiting for 11 seconds. That's our 30 seconds, roughly. So once this timeout completes, then the job two will actually execute, which should happen here just momentarily. Job two is coming out of the build queue and has now completed. So let's take a look at job two while it's running. Now we can see that job one caused the trigger for this, then the job ran. Now, if I had to go in and point and click in these jobs to make these changes, that wouldn't really be sustainable. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and set up the trigger and the quiet period within my pipeline of job two. So how do I do that? Well, first off, let's go ahead and clean up job two. So we're gonna uncheck this and uncheck this and click on save. And just to show that those are gone, we'll click on configure and we can see that there's no build trigger set up. Let's go back over here to job two, click on pipeline syntax and go to declarative directive generator. Now, both of those items are under the trigger section, but it's gonna be a little bit different for our syntax. First off, let's go to triggers and let's set up our upstream. So we want job two to follow job one. Now this trigger could be either a trigger like what we're doing here, or it could be a webhook coming from an SCM or anything else. It's just anything but a manual click of build now. So what I want to do with job two is I want to watch job one. And by clicking on generate declarative directive, I get triggers upstream job one. So we're gonna copy this and let's go back over to job two, configure, and let's add this in to our pipeline. But then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up our quiet period. So we'll just save this. Let's go back to pipeline syntax. Let's open this in a new tab. This time, let's go to options. And under add, we're going to select quiet period. Then we're going to see the same block that we saw over in the configuration of the job. Again, let's change this to 30 seconds and click on generate declarative directive. We'll copy this. Let's go back over to our configuration of job two and then paste that in right below the trigger section. So what we have here is we have our triggers watching for job one, and we also have added in our option for quiet period to be 30 seconds. Now, when I click on save, the changes still have not been made to the job. So if I was to run job one right now, nothing would happen with job two, because if we take a look at our build triggers, nothing has changed here yet. So what we need to do for job two is we need to run it one time. So it goes through, reads the pipeline script, parses it out, makes the changes to the configuration of the job, and then actually runs the job within the stages. So now if we take a look at configure, what we're going to see under build triggers is we see our build after set to job one and our quiet period set to 30. So now let's go back up to our dashboard. Let's go ahead and run job one, but then let's watch over here in our build queue, and we should expect to see job two show up once job one completes, which it does. When we hover over job two, we can see that it was started by the upstream project job one, 
currently in the quiet period, and it expires in 20 seconds, now 15 seconds because it had been waiting already for 14 seconds. So once this completes in about 10 seconds, what we expect is job two will clear out of the build queue and then run and complete successfully, which should be about now. So now if we take a look at job two, we're gonna see that it's still pending, it was a little bit early, and then once it completes with job number four, we can see it was triggered by job one and everything ran as expected. It waited until job one was complete and successful. And then also once that happened, it went into a quiet period of 30 seconds before actually executing the job. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button and then ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.